guys, BJ from Christie's RV here. Today we're gonna go through the 2020 Jayco J Flight SLX 242BHS model. So starting up front, you have your large pass-through storage area, access, accessible from both sides. And also this one here is accessible from underneath the bed. So from the master bed, you can lift it up. I'll show you that when we go inside. You can access this area as well. You have your jack handle for your stabilizer jacks. You have one of these in each corner of the trailer. These are not designed to level the trailer. So what you want to do is try to get the trailer as level as possible and then use these to stabilize it at each corner so that it doesn't rock or move while you're inside. Up front you have your 12 volt battery. You also have your dual 30 pound propane tanks. And that has a crossover regulator which allows you to pull you open both tanks and you're able to pull from one and then when that one's empty it'll automatically switch over and pull from the other one. There is a little indicator here to let you know which bottle it's pulling from. Once that one's empty you can switch it to the other side. And there's a little peep glass here that shows you if it's full or empty. The other side of that pass-through storage. On the back side you also have a outdoor shower area, so you have hot and cold, a little handheld for showering outdoors or rinsing your feet, stuff like that. You have your city water connection, so you have that for a uh, pressured you know, garden hose, stuff like that when you're at a uh, campground or home. Down here you have your low point drains, that's to drain your water lines, so when you're ready to uh, winterize it, you can drain all the water out of the lines by using that. And you have your sewage area here discharge so we have, you connect your hose here and that's stored in the back bumper I'll show you that in a second connect that to here and then you have your gray valve which is your sinks and shower and then you have your black valve over here which is your toilet so inside the bumper here you just squeeze and pull the cap off and you have your hose for your drainage Back. We have a spare tire. You also have a ladder to access the roof if you need to. Here you have your 30 amp power cord. And that comes with about 30 feet, 30 feet or so of cable. You have your hot water tank here. Drain plug for the hot water tank is right there. Before you pull that drain out, make sure you release the pressure by either using the pressure relief valve here or opening up one of the taps inside the trailer. This model comes with the outdoor kitchen. So you have a fridge, you have your stove here. This does not have a sparker on it so you have to use a lighter. You just turn it to light and light it with a lighter. Hot and cold water in the sink. And this here does just Fold up. It's on a drawer system. It just slides in a way like that. This big grate here is the back of the fridge. This is uh, where it gets its venting from and stuff like that. So you want to not not put anything in front of it. Make sure it stays open and free so you get proper airflow. Same thing with this. This is your exhaust for your furnace. That does get hot, so you don't want to have anything in front of that. You have your potable water fill here, that's to fill the holding tank, so you take water with you when you go somewhere where there is no running water. And then you have your cable satellite output, and you also have a AC output power, so that if you do want to put a TV outside, there's also a mount here. So you have all those connections there to bring the TV outside. We'll head inside. stairs here. Please store away on the inside. There's a blue latch here to release that. And you want to make sure the door is all the way open so it doesn't catch the stairs when you're opening it. They do have pins here that you can pull out and adjust the feet if you go up and down. So if you're on unlevel ground or it's higher on this side, you want to make then you can level the stairs, make sure they're in the right position for you. And you want to make sure they are right.
right level because you want to make sure that this is right flush to the door sill. If not, that will catch on the bottom of your door and damage the door. Same thing with this area here. So inside, you first walk in on the left, you have your monitor panel here. That tells you your battery, your fresh water, black, gray, tells you how much is in the tanks. You have two light switches here, one for the interior lights, and this one here is for the LED strip. That is underneath the awning here. And then you have your two buttons, one for the slide out and one for the awning. So your awning's power awning. Simply out and back in. And with that awning, you want to keep in mind that the awnings are designed more for a sunshade. So in heavy rain or hard wind, stuff like that, you want to make sure that's all the way in because it could cause damage to the awning or to the trailer itself. Your slide out button, so we'll press that. So the dinette area does slide all the way out. You want to make sure uh, when you are parked, you have it out, you have it all the way out for the seals to actually create a full seal. The, the slide outs are designed to seal only when they're all the way in or all the way out. So. that click that means it's at the end the full extent and that's all the way out so you know you have a seal all the way around we'll start up front we have lights on the ceiling here with a manual push button on both sides there's that access I was telling you about to the front storage area from underneath the bed Lots of storage on both sides. You have an emergency exit window there. To use that, you just lift up on the red tab, pull it towards you, and push it all the way out, and that'll give you access to get out of the trailer in case of an emergency. Up there is the hookup for the TV. So you have your cable, you have your AC, and you also have the TV mount. So this is where that TV, when it's mounted, can be lifted off, brought outside, and hooked up outside if you want to watch TV out there. bedroom also has pocket doors on both sides there's a storage clip just up top here so you want to make sure that's on when you're traveling so the door doesn't open or swing by and get damaged so you have pocket doors there for privacy again make sure they're stored in the open position and the snap is on your TV have your DVD stereo uh, this also has auxiliary, Bluetooth, uh, it does have an HDMI input, and a uh, USB charging port as well. And then you have speakers 1 and 2. Speakers is, uh, zone 1 is the interior, and zone 2 are the speakers that are outside. So you have uh, exterior speakers if you want to use those. The dinette area, this table does come off. You just lift it off the legs itself, and they sit on this little rail that's on the inside under the cushions. You see right there, both sides, and again on the back. Put the table down into the, that position, and then you can just arrange the cushions and make that into a, a bed, another sleeping area for somebody. Over here on the wall is a thermostat. This controls your air conditioning, your fan, and your heater. So we just turn that on, just touch. It's more like a touch screen kind of thing. So you have your fan set to auto right now. You can turn that to on or off, or uh, sorry, high and low. So if you want to uh, just circulate the air, you do that. Then you have your air conditioning. You have a little snowflake down there. And then you have your heater. You see the little furnace button there. And then you're up and down for your temperature. And if you want to change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit and back, you just double tap on these two, and it does that for you, okay? Of storage. Stores to the bathroom. You have shower, large shower, hot and cold, handheld in here as well. Skylight for lots of natural light. Your toilet. There's a pedal right here on the front. Just push down on that. The 
water runs and flushes for you. Here's your GFI breaker. So that, that GFI circuit is protecting the outside plug and the plug by the kitchen sink and also this one. So if either of those plugs aren't working, come check this, make sure it hasn't tripped. If it has, you'll see a little red light, just hit reset. And then uh, that'll reset the circuit for you. If it trips again, you might want to make sure what you have plugged in or if there's a short on something. You have a light switch here for the bathroom. And you also have a fan. So manually lift up the vent. And a button there. two bunks top and bottom both bunks have a window charging port right here a little USB port and these are manual lights as well here and here AC plug in this one and under here lift up there's access back here. There's a little panel in the corner with a screw. You open that up, that gives you the access to the back of the hot water tank. So if you need to, uh, when it's time to winterize, get to those valves to do the bypass, you can get in through that way there. You have your fridge. So there's auto and gas. If you want to run it strictly on propane, just switch it over to gas. It'll light off the propane. If you want to put, if you have uh, if you have the trailer plugged into 110 AC, you can set it to auto. It'll run off of electric first. If it doesn't, if you, there is no electricity, then it'll switch over to gas. So you have that option or just simply put it on gas. That's your fridge and freezer. They do have a little store lock in here. There's a little lock in here for when you're traveling to store it. You push it in, that'll lock the handle. And the door can't open. Unless you pull on it, but that locks it. Down below the oven is your power area. You have all your AC breakers, your DC fuses. Something's not working, check here, make sure. Oven and your stove. So to light the stove, Turn them, turn them to the light position, and then you have your sparker, and there you go. The oven, you turn it to the little flame, hold it in for a few seconds, and then turn the sparker, and that'll light, and you'll see the pilot light lit right underneath here, right at the back. There's a button here, that does your accent lighting and your oven light. light fan and you have your microwave just like you do at home large double sink lots of access more storage back here there's a panel one screw you just take that out and that gives you access to the, this is where your water pump is that or you, when it's time to winterize, same thing, this is where you go to get access to that. Up top is your air conditioner, controlled from that thermostat I showed you, but there's also a, a vent here that controls your airflow. So the air that's coming out of the roof vents, if you want it to be stronger, you just close that. If you want the air, more air in this area to stay in this area, you just leave that open. Speakers, like I said, zone one is the interiors. You have a smoke alarm. Make sure you test that every once in a while by holding the button. Same thing with your seal. Here, little test button. Press and hold. Make sure you do that. Make sure that things are working. Stay safe. You also have a fire extinguisher down below, just by the door. And that's pretty much it. Congratulations on the new trailer. Hope you enjoy it.